I'm Cheryl Ann Webster, I'm an artist and public speaker and I'm the creator of the Beautiful Women Project. The Beautiful Women Project I conceived in 2003 created the artwork which consists of 120 life-size clay sculptures of real women aged 19 to 91. I completed the artwork by 2005 and we have been on exhibit with it ever since. The artwork's not for sale, it's a teaching and a healing tool for men and women, boys and girls. My mission with the project is to create a visual voice for silent stories, a visual role model for our physical form. After all, it's not often we get to see 120 life-size bodies in a safe environment, but we need to know what do we look like? What should we look like? We make judgments every day about our physical form, but we don't have anything real to compare to. I wanted to show the world that women of all shapes and sizes are beautiful, that we come in all shapes and sizes with lumps and bumps and scars, and that's a natural part of our journey. And when we embrace it and accept it, we live happier, healthier lives. If we fight against it and continuously judge ourselves when we look in the mirror or the emotional mirror, then we start to cause self-harm. I'm not saying that we shouldn't lose weight or gain weight if we have to. Absolutely, if for medically reasons you need to do that, then it starts and can be sustainable only when we have a good level of self-acceptance. So I created the Beautiful Women Project to be on tour for everybody to come and see. It's about to go into its 11th exhibit, this time at the Southampton Art School and Gallery in Southampton, Ontario. It'll give the chance for school children to come in and see the work. It'll give a chance for families to talk about body image issues. We've created activity sheets for families to work on, and there's even a curriculum based on four subjects for grades seven and eight. This project isn't about me. It's not even about the 120 women that volunteered to be my subject matters. It's about the message, and that is, start to accept yourself for who you are today. Love and embrace that body of yours. Mother Nature didn't make a mistake. Embrace it, move on, and have the most fantastic life you can. Live every moment the best you can.